going to do a rail, really cute rail. Um, we have kits available as of right now. We have lavender, lime, and this is the fuchsia. Hello, hello. So if you want to go to uniqueindecrease.com and grab yours before they're sold out, go do that now before I get started on this. So we're going to be using this 12 inch metal sign, which is super cute. Thank you. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. It's 12.30 here, so. All right, let's get this out. This is one of my favorite signs that come out every year. I love these welcome daisies. Well, you guys all know I love daisies. Hi, Mom. So I'm just going to take the stickers off. I don't like leaving the tags on anything okay so for this you can either because you you're gonna get some you get e6000 in your kit and I'm gonna decorate my rail first before I put uh, glue on my sign um, I'm going to do it where the rail is up at the top and I'm gonna decorate the top okay However, you can do yours with the rail at the bottom and put your sign this way. So you can do it either way, whatever way you prefer. Uh, the only thing is if, we, if you do it this way, I'm going to flip it over. If you do it this way, Um, I, I found one of those rag bow kits, and, two of them actually, and I threw them on the website yesterday, so um, I might be getting more for Christmas. You glued yours the night before? Yeah, you can do that the night before, you, before you, or you can do it right after you decorate. Um, you just, when you want it, when you glue it, you're just going to want to put something heavy on your um, board slash um, sign. Um, it's probably easier to glue it with nothing on your rail. I should have probably did that, but I wanted to show you guys how to glue it. So if you're going to do this kit, glue your sign first and then do it the next day. Let the, let the glue settle for like at least 24 hours, okay? Um, what I was saying is if you're going to do it with the rail at the bottom, you, you're going to have to use a cable mount. I would not hang my rail from the top hole here on the sign and you can't really well I guess you could you could put a string or something in behind before you glue your rail on but I would just use a cable mount if you're gonna do it that way I would just glue a cable mount right in between the two holes here and then you can put a zip tie or whatever and hang it from the board and not the metal sign, okay? But I, that's if you want to do it with the rail at the bottom, okay? Kind of like we do our vinyls, like that. God, this is pretty. They're all pretty. I'll get the lavender one. I didn't bring the lime one home, I forgot. I do have the lavender. So we got hot pink. This is, and there's the ribbons that go with the hot pink one. So you get a roll of yellow, a roll of hot pink. You get two little daisy sprigs. You get this cute bee. Um, it's got a clip on it. You get a 25, 25 yard roll of tulle. You get a pipe cleaner for your um, bow and uh, a little tube of E6000 to um, glue it on, okay? So that's the hot pink. This is the purple or lavender. And that's the lavender ribbon with the yellow ribbon. 
And of course you get everything else, the bee and everything too. So it's a really cute thing. And then the lime green one is like a bright lime green. It's really pretty as well. All right, let's get this started. Um, I usually get brown deco mesh in um, towards the fall. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these to the side. We're gonna, I'm gonna glue my sign after I'm done decorating, okay? So I'm gonna do mine upside down, so I'm gonna to, um, decorate the top. So what you wanna do is take your zip ties and start on row one. You'll see a number one there. The whole number one to around the board. I've done one of these, I, I've done a few of these uh, quite a few times. Um, you can do it different ways. Um, if you don't like this way, um, it's not hard to get. It's just not usually in stock until the fall stuff comes out. Good morning. And if you guys wouldn't mind sharing this, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Please and thank you. All right. And then I'm going to preload row two. We're closing them. Probably not till Monday, Judy. There's just way too much for us to get listed, and it just came in yesterday. Oh, yes, I seen yours, Jenny. You did really, really well. Yeah, the rail board is one size. Now, all our vinyls, all our vinyls fit on the uh, rail board. Oh, I'm sorry, Gail. We try. Karen, what are you doing in Facebook jail? Okay, so I preloaded. Um, there's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? We're going to cut our ribbons. So we get the yellow and the pink. Daisy. Okay, so I'm going to put a pink here. So I need one, two, I need five, one, two, I need five pieces of this ribbon and I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it at 14 inches. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm going to cut four pieces at 14 inches. No, what they're on their way, Francine. There is a severe shortage of plastic, recycled or virgin plastic. So it's taking us longer to get our boards made. Okay, so I got four. Yes, always use wired ribbon. So I'm gonna fold that horizontally and cut. But all the ends together, fold it. And then you're gonna cut from the folded side right up to the corner to give you that dovetail or V shape in your ribbon. Okay, there you go. And then I'm going to cut four of the yellow. A 3D daisy. They're pretty. The 3D daisies are very pretty. Time consuming, but pretty. One, two, three, four. What's everybody doing today? Anybody watching the trial? Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, again, I am. I, I I didn't cut the ends. I just fold it and then cut from the folded side right to the corner. That way I omit a step. 
and it keeps the ribbons all together so your ends are not like all over and you get different V shapes at the end. See? Easy. 14 inches I'm cutting. You can play around um, and you try different sizes. I'm going to try something different. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put a tail in here and have it coming down the side and curl it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. All right, so we got our tool. Now we have, it's, this is a white tool. You do get 25 yards. So you'll have enough tool to do, to do about three rails with this one roll. You can barely see it, but I like using tool or <laughs> Is that your real name, Holiday? I love that. I, uh, that's awesome. Um, I love using tool or Cosmic Mesh on my rails because it doesn't make, uh, if you use Deco Mesh, which you can, it makes it really poofy and everything. I like mine more slim looking. So I like to use, and it's less expensive to use tool and Cosmic Mesh. So I have my ribbons cut at 14. So I, I'm going to do it at 13. So it's a little bit shorter than my ribbon tails. Thank you for sprinkling me. So I'm going to go around about seven times only because this is white and it's pretty sheer and see-through. So I'm going to go around seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can cut a piece of cardboard. For your tool, you want to wrap it. It's much easier to wrap around. So cut a piece of cardboard at 14 inches and wrap it your tool around the cardboard. Um, it's so much easier. Yeah, we I we do have the God Bless America back or God Bless USA back in stock. Okay, now take your clothespin that you get in your kit and put a clothespin on your tool. And I'm gonna do another one, seven, one, seven meaning this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hi, Jam Brown Cook. You're excited to see my measure buddy in action. You mean you don't have one? This is the best thing since sliced bread, man. Okay. Now, don't forget, I'm decorating the top, so my bow is going to come downwards a bit. Okay? And I think I'm going to have some ribbon tails coming down the side, curled. Now, I've never done that before, so I'm going to try it. Okay. So, we're going to, whatever we do on one side, we are going to do on the other, okay? So I'm gonna take my yellow and then my pink right over top. I'm gonna to step it, which means I'm putting the top piece just along the middle of the bottom piece and it's stepped, okay? Fold it over, find your halfway. No, I will cut it I don't like to cut the loops until they're into the zip tie. Just in case, you know, I lose the grip or whatever, and then I'll have a million pieces of tool on the floor. So you're going to put your ribbons like this. Okay. And we'll make another one. So again, I'm putting the yellow on the bottom, the pink stepped on the top. These rails are so fun to do. They really are. Okay, so I'm gonna take this tool. I'm gonna to start on row, 
It went, mine is upside down, so row two is right there. So I'm going to put my tool in, and then I'm going to take my ribbon tail and slide that in, and then zip the whole thing up. How easy was that? <laughs> yeah, see, when you do the step, you don't have to yank your ribbons. So I like to have the same ribbon um, in the center and then the other ribbon to the sides. And if you step it, um, it automatically does that. Okay. So then I'm going to take, I'm doing this side again. Same as what we did over there. Make sure it's and this is why I don't cut the ends because if that would have popped out, all my uh, pieces would have went bling all over the place. Hi, Evie. Okay. Well, that was easy. All right, now we're going to cut that zip tie off with our little handy dandy nippers there we go okay that's the first front one we're going to do the back ones now again 13 inches or 14 it doesn't matter I think 14 especially if you're cutting a piece of cardboard for your ribbon tails 14 inches will be just fine for your tool as well so you can do you <laughs> Hush you, Karen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You guys like to make fun of me. Silly girls you are. <laughs> All right, we're folding this. We'll give it a haircut later, but if, if you notice something a little bit longer, just cut it right away. Okay, so folding it just right in half. There's one. We love you. <laughs> you guys like to make fun of me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome, Sandy. Oh, I can't wait to make sure you take pictures. Now, lots of people go do workshops and they get so busy they forget to take pictures. It's really important for you to take pictures, especially if you absolutely loved it and you want to hold another class. It's nice to have pictures um, of people, you know, working in your class. Okay, so this time I'm going to put the, the pink on the bottom and the yellow. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, Jenny. I just picked seven just out of the blue. No rhyme or reason. Again, I'm stepping this, but I'm putting the yellow on the top this time. See how when you flip it up, it just automatically goes. Oh, why did I only cut four? Hi, Goober. I need four of each color. Actually, five of each color. Okay. So we're going to go and put our tool in just like we did this one. Okay, tool in. Ribbon tail in. And zip it up. As soon as we're done the other side, that's when we'll... Actually, that might be too much ribbon. I don't know if I wanted all that ribbon. Huh. I'll just leave it. It's good. Usually I put one piece of, you know, I would put one piece of pink in this one and the yellow in this one. That's probably where I got screwed up because I normally cut five pieces. But 
I doubled the ribbons here and that's fine because you, you're going to have a lot of ribbon left over. Alrighty. Yes, it's in hot pink, lavender, and the lime green. And they're all really vibrant and pretty, and you get the matching ribbon. All three kits get the yellow um, to go with it. All three kits get the bee, and all three gets, kits get the daisy. Now, normally I put my daisies at the end here. Maybe I still will. But I was thinking of actually putting it here because your bow is going to be right here so i think i might put them the two daisy bushes in these two zip ties or maybe not i don't know i'm very indecisive today <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing today or should i put them here i think i'm going to put them right here like i always do so for your daisies, if you want to put them at the sides, just go, we're going to use the shared holes, the two middle ones. And I'll flip it over. What I mean is, so we're using this hole to this hole. So you see how nice and neat it is there. And all I'm going to do is push my daisies up to the top and zip tie it right onto the board, just like that. Oh, that's gonna be cute. All right, and then I'm gonna add just a little dab of glue, just so my daisies don't fall out. Okay, now I'm gonna, now I can, I'll cut my, so what you want to do is take your scissors, get your loop there, stick your scissors through the loop, cut it, and it opens up really pretty like that. So it just kind of pops open. So we're going to do this for all your loops. So it makes a nice little hint in the back. Actually, 14 would probably be really good because the white is so light that um, you'll just uh, see just a bit of it. Yes, our Tina Kelly is a superhero. We love Tina Kelly. There you go. So you can actually, you can cut it as you're making them or cut it like I did after you put them in. Now in this, you can also, you can, if you have flowers or greenery or anything else you want to add, you can zip tie them right into the zip ties and then just put a hint of glue like I did. Yes, you're definitely going to have enough ribbon and tool to make another one. So if you order the kit, we do have vinyls in these colors. So you could get the kit and then actually order a rail and a vinyl and have enough tool and ribbon. So get a pink one tool and ribbon to do both both of them all right so we're going to put this other daisy in so again it it's much easier to glue your sign um, before you start your rail however because i'm teaching i wanted to show you guys how i glue it so I'm going to glue it afterwards.
You have no tool left? Why is my, oh, is my glue gun broken? Oh no, it's not broken. Okay. I'm a scatterbrain these days. I don't know. I had mouth surgery and then it, I think it affected my brain. All right. I'm not sure if I love all the ribbon. I think it's a bit too much ribbon. So on these ones, I'm only going to put one piece. So I'm going to put a yellow, yellow, pink, pink. So we need two yellow. And two pink. Oh, the kit's 32 US. Cool. You get a lot for it. Because these even these bees alone, I think, are worth like four or five bucks. You get your E6000, you get your sign, you get your ribbon, you get your tool, you get your you get everything you need. Oh, and you get your wire cutters, your clothespins, and you get your zip ties. You also get two sprigs of daisies. Yeah, but you can cut back on the tool, on the tool, Jenny, and uh, you'll have enough for two. But you already made yours. Yours is stunning. Turned out really good. Okay, so we're gonna do the next one. Bring my measure body down to 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're welcome, Maya. I'll keep putting together kits as long as people keep buying them. I don't mind. Okay, so I'm going to put my tool in. Hmm. Did I make it that long? Yeah, it should be fine. And I'm going to put the yellow on the top. Since the top one here, I put the pink. I'm just going to put one piece of yellow. Because in the center, we are going to put a, a bow. So I'll just slide that in. And do the zip tie. Oh. And then the bottom one, I use the pink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I wanted to mention, um, there are more ombre sets on the website that we listed yesterday. Just to if because some of you were wanting more ombres, I think we what do we have? I don't even know. Pink, red, white, and blue. I'm waiting on the orange to get some more coral made. Rose gold, silver. I will have some more blue probably next week. <laughs> Queen of Canada. <laughs> oh, Jude. Yeah, um, the Ombre sets, um, you can make butterfly with them. Um, we just put them together in sets for you because a lot of times, if you want to make an like a Ombre like I do, you can't find all of the colors. So we just put them in sets for you, and then you get them at a pretty, pretty good price as well. Okay. 
We got 18 skids in yesterday. I'm trying, I'm waiting for the orange, Jenny. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, I'm doing whatever I did on this side, I'm doing on this side. God, Evie, you just wait and see. <laughs> you need 50 sets of purple? Well, good luck with that one. I do not have any more purple. And I don't believe I'll be getting any more in. And there's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. So this one I only put one in each zip tie. That's usually what I do. Um, here I put two. It's totally up to you. Alrighty, we'll cut our loops again. Or you can, you can wait till the end of your rail and cut them all at once. But when you open it, it just kind of gives it a light, whimsy back background instead of the mesh. See, when you cut it open, it kind of flings, bling! <laughs> open. Well, thank you, Linda. I'm glad you're watching. I mean, she was early today. All righty. So I went with the white tool because I didn't want anything too contrasting with all these bright colors. So, all right. So now on the bottom here, I'm going to put tool. Well, actually, this is the top. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is going to be the top. Actually, I should turn it this way. I'm just going to put this straight in. Oh, straight in. And down. Like that. And then I'm going to cut one more yellow. And one more of the pink. Oh, thanks, Jean Ann. Comments like that are exactly why we do what we do. I'm going to put 
put um, actually the daisies at I'm going to put the yellow on the top. Oh shoot. Should have left my zip tie open. All right, I'll slide this through. There we go. This is going up towards the top here. Just want to make sure this is all the right length. And zip tie it. step this one. Alrighty. Now we got this center one. And all I'm going to do is put some tool in there. Oh, I am going to use the whole roll. My bad. I'm going to end up using the whole roll because I used white. With any other color, color, you usually can get away with um, only going around like four times. Yeah. One rail. Okay, I'm going to put this straight through and zip it up. Now, I'm not putting any tails there because I'm going to put a bow. So we're going to make a bow. Tidy up the tool, give it a bit of a haircut so they're all about the same length. Sometimes you get these long pieces of tool, you can just trim them down. There we go. Okay, let's make a bow. So this is going to be glued on when we're done. 
just like that. That is going to look so cute. I just have to figure out where I'm going to put my bee. I was thinking of putting my bee down at the bottom and hiding that hole because it's got a clip, but we'll see. All right, there's my bow maker. Yes, it's lovely. Okay, you got to decide what... Um, what color you want on the, your top of your bow? So if you want the yellow, the solid yellow, or the pink daisy. I think I want the yellow on the top. So I'm going to start with the pink. Now we don't want the tails too long because we don't want them to go um, totally over top of the sign. So probably about seven inches. Let's see. Yeah, seven or eight inches. Let's do eight. Just from here to the, the pegs is eight inches. Put that in. Okay, you're gonna turn your ribbon so the the daisies are facing down, and let's do, let's do six inch, six inch loop, no, six inches too big, let's do five, five inch loop, there we go. So I'm going to do... three loops at five inches of the daisy ribbon. pink yes it is a rail board so you can see we got a lot of ribbon still left over of this and then I'm going to put a yellow on top same thing now this is not um, double or single sided so you don't have to do a twist if you don't want So about the same length. And I'll do about four inches, just a little bit shorter. Oh, I did a twist anyways. <laughs> so used to it. I'll do three four inch loops since we got lots of ribbon. Oh, maybe this one I'll do a little bit smaller. So two four inch and then one three inch. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Thank you for
for asking, Carrie. Um, somewhere in this mess, we have our pipe cleaner. Um, I like to use a zip tie as well when I'm doing my bows. So I'm going to pull this whole thing up and off the bow maker and on top of my zip tie. Try and keep everything stacked. And I'm going to come around. I'm going to take the head of the zip tie, bring it to the back, like that. And then we get our pipe cleaner right here. Slide it in your zip tie. And then pull this all tight, nice and tight. Let me snip this off. All right, there we got our bow. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I am going to go in between the two in the middle here, between rows one and two, with my pipe cleaner end. Make sure our tool is going the right way. That one's going that way. This is going that way. There we go. Twist it in the back, and then we can start opening the loops. One, two, three, Yeah, that's a good idea, Jenny. It'll help the bow sit up a little bit better. All right, so we got our two. These work those loops. Now, normally your sign will be already on, right? There we go. Now I was going to put my daisies in by the bow, but I just put them there. Yeah, I went around for the tool seven times. Um, looking at this, you can do five times. Five times will be just fine. Okay. 
Now what I'm going to do, I have to trim. Some of my tool is really off here. Oh, I know why. Because the outer, duck, the outer is a lot longer. Another haircut. Okay, let's put our sign on. So, hope if you're doing the kit, like I said, put your sign on first. If you're going to do, the only thing that's different between doing it downwards like I'm doing, or putting your sign and decorating the bottom is the way your ribbon is, I mean your bow. So if you're putting your sign up at the top, your bow would come down this way. And you could do the loopy tails and everything. If you're doing the top like I'm doing, you don't want too long of tails because you want to see um, be able to see the, uh, the sign, right? Okay, before I glue the sign on, I'm going to put uh, a cable mount on the back. And we're going to cut this E6000. Now, if you've got the kit, it does come with the, a little tube of E6000 to put your sign. So we're gonna, that's our bow pipe cleaner. And if you want to just uh, make a zip tie hanger, just put it through the zip tie here if you want and do it up. And cut off the tail here. And then you have a hanger, okay? Or you can put a cable mount. Now, if, like I said at the beginning, if you're putting your sign and having your rail this way with our, your bow going down this way, then you're going to want to use a cable mount because you don't want to hang your um, rail from the hole on the sign. You don't want to pull it away from your, your rail board, okay? Too much tool. Yeah, I, I would go around just five times, guys. And even at 12 inches, that'll give you lots of tool left over then, too. Okay, so I'm going to bring this back. I got E6000. So you get this little tube, and to open it, there's a little not a nodule thing in the lid. So you take the lid, turn it upside down, and poke. Okay, and that opens the glue. Now what I'm going to do is on the sign, there's two holes. I am going to line up the top hole with the, where my uh, bow is, those holes, because that is the direct center of the board. Okay. So if you want to line it up your rail on your cutting mat. So I have the holes on row 14 and then the bottom holes, which are the actual hanging holes. If you put line 14 right in the middle, that makes it completely, um, completely centered. I'm just gonna put a clothes pin, bring these back. Again, you probably, you probably want to put your sign on before decorating. Okay, so take your glue and you're definitely on the top. You're just gonna go around, squeezing and just dabbing. Now this takes about 24 hours to cure. 
it's very heavy duty industrial glue. So once it's on there, it's going to be on there. And then I'm going to go proceed and make it X. Well, let's get all that glue out of there. Good to the last drop. There we go. Squeeze it all out. <laughs> Waste nothing. Look at that. And that is your E6000. Alrighty, and now what I'm going to do is line slide this in. Now, like I said, it's much easier to do this when there's nothing no decorations on it. Make sure this is trying to glue on me already. I'm going to slide this up and my center hole right there. Okay, it's on the 14. And my bottom hole, I can see the little line of the 14. See it through that hole. So I know we're all centered up. Press for a little bit. This is B6000 glue. Again, do this before you decorate. Decide if you want your sign on the top or bottom. Put a heavy book, something heavy on it. Well, this is pretty heavy. <laughs> Put a few books, make sure it's heavy and just leave it overnight. We're already done that part. I think I cut this tail too short to roll it, to curl it. I was thinking about doing curlies coming down the side, but I think that's too much. I think we're good like this. What do you guys think? Okay, now gotta do our ribbons again. Let's oh let's zoom out. There we go. How fun is that? Super easy, cute, great if you're going to a pool party or something for a hostess gift. Really cute. inexpensive and bright and cheery. That's what I like about it. Make sure all your ribbon tails and everything's pulled out. Isn't that cute? Now you can even up it even more. You can up it a notch. So yeah, I the reason I put two daisies in it is I was just gonna put them right here. And I think I should have. Let's try. I have actually two extras here. So this is what I was wanting to do. Yeah, see if the daisies weren't there. You may want to put your daisies. That's why I only gave two because I was just going to put them right on the inside so it so it's right in the bow. Oh, I think I like that better. So pretend these aren't there and it's just the daisies right before your bow. I like that better. But I already glued these in. Although I can probably just pull them out. And that's it. Oh, our bee. Our bee. Now the bee is here to put... I 
actually, you know what? I want to see if I can pull these out. And I'm going to just glue it where I want it, right into the tool. Glue gun is not working. There. I like them better. The daisy's better right there where the bow is. Don't you guys? Uh, we do have the bees on our website. So I know a lot of people have been looking for them. We also have the realistic uh, sunflower centers. A lot of people look for that one, those two, the 6.25 ones. Yeah, I like it better too. That was my original thing and that's why I only gave two is because I was just gonna give it a little enhancement. Now you would put these, just put them in a zip tie right between the two here. I'll show you. We'll just pull this up. Put a zip tie right in between the middle. Take your daisy. In the zip tie and zip it up. Like that. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. You liked it with both sets of flowers? You can add your own. Um, like I said, you can add some greenery. You can add more flowers if you want. Like if you found more daisies. We had, we have 200 of each color. So that was a lot of daisies I had to buy. <laughs> oh, and our bee. Now, I think, I, like I said, I think I'm going to put the bee down at the bottom. So it does have a clip on it. Dave said it looks like a killer wasp, but whatever. Turn it and just turn the clip a little bit and clip it on, but you can also glue it. Or you can take the clip right off <laughs> and just glue the, the bee. I think that would be too much up there. What do you guys think? I think uh, I think I like it right there, so it looks like it's flying into the into the rail. Let's see. Can you guys see? Actually, that's really cute. I like it there. You like it in the boat? You can put your bee wherever you want. Wherever you want. There we go. And that's your kit. Um, that's it. It's cute, eh? Oh. You can put it up here. Oh, what about on top here? In the tool. Kind of gets lost up there.
and B. I don't know where I'm going to do with it. I'm just gluing it. Putting some glue right there. There. It looks like it's the, he's on the daisy there. <laughs> there we go. That's so cute. Let me get these back. That's it, guys. Any questions? Yeah, I love it too. I, I, I don't like how I put too many ribbons over here. Usually I just put one ribbon per zip tie, and I prefer that, I think. I just, it looks really busy. So I will probably just go take um, the zip tie off. Actually, I can do that now. I'll show you. So if you don't like something, just pull everything back. Again, don't do like Lori, remember? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take, clip that zip tie off. Now, don't let go of your, all your stuff because your tool will open because we cut the poop, the, the loops. Come on. So I'm just going to leave one ribbon. And then I'm going to do the same right here, but I'm going to put the pink one in. Actually, duh. Let's see if I can just pull this out. Yeah, no. <laughs> Get another zip tie away. That's how I normally do it. I like just one piece in each, each zip tie. So I'm push this all back. I have to do that stupid belt. See? Oh, I did it wrong because the yellow is here. Ah, so the pink should be here and the yellow should be here. I just can't win. Anyways, that's how you do it. I would just put one because you can see. Look how busy it is over here. There's just too much for my liking. I like it much nicer like that over here. All right, guys, we will talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your afternoon and um, be safe. Bye, everybody.